All right, I have no idea what the fuck I just read and listened to. Here goes. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Samuel Henthorn. You still probably don't know me. Whatever. And Humble Bundle is doing a thing right now. Oh, at the time of recording, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up posting this while it's still going on. So there is... Where do I even start with this? I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of awkward pauses as I try to process what the fuck. There is an Amazon author. His name is Chuck Tingle, or at least his pseudonym anyway. And he writes erotic fiction. What do you know about here? I'll read a couple of excerpts. Okay, so these are excerpts from his probably most famous book, which is the one I just started or finished reading which is called Pounded in the Butt by My Own Butt. Not a joke, although it might be satire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of awkward pauses as I try to find stuff. For the first time in a long time, I finally feel like I'm sitting across the table from someone who really gets me deep down at the core of my being. It's hard enough dating as a gay man in today's world of casual hookups and reckless flings. I'm looking for something more, and incredibly, I think I might have just found it. That's not to say that my feelings for my own living ass aren't sexual, far from it. The connection that I'm looking for is something that embodies every kind of attraction. That started out okay, like just your standard boilerplate erotica possibly, or maybe even just romance. But that... Okay, here's another bit. Suddenly, I find myself overwhelmed with lust for this incredible butt. I know that this is only the first night we've known each other. Oh, there's a typo there. It's the first night we know each other. <laughs> I'm just going to read it as it's meant to be read. But I also know that the feelings I have for this ass are not just some passing phase. This is as real as it gets, and if I don't say something now, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Is there anything else you wanted to experience? I ask Poor Talk, which is the butt's name apparently. The living butt immediately picks up on the weight of my words, eyeing me suspiciously. Yeah, of course, he says. Anything that I can help you with? I question, continuing to lead him along. I can immediately tell that Poor Talk understands what I'm asking of him, reading between the lines with expert precision. The butt hesitates for a moment and then finally offers, I'd like to try anal. I think I can help you with that. I tell him with a sly grin. And that's all I'm going to read because the rest of it is an actual sex scene. I mean, I don't care about monetization and getting demonetized, but I still care about keeping my channel sort of PG. I'm probably going to put up a warning right before this video, like in, as an intro card. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I just read. And the thing is, I also read it in, well, basically, the guy also has a podcast called Pounded in the Butt by My Own Podcast, which is put on by the people who do Welcome to Night Vale, which is awesome. You should check it out. And it's basically celebrity guests reading his books. And the first episode was Cecil Baldwin, the voice of Cecil from Night Vale in public radio. Reading that, I'm still having trouble processing what the fuck I just read. Uh, what the fuck? I mean, this is just gonna be a first impressions video, so you know, but I feel like I have to say something about it now, and then after I read a couple more of these, if I read a couple more of these, after I read more of these, I might do a more in depth analysis of this shit i really really hope that this is some sort of parody hello cat you want attention so uh i really hope this is a parody and the wikipedia article says that some critics think it is a parody well maybe a satire i'm not entirely sure what the difference is but of really shit erotica on Amazon made by people with poor writing skills who are self-published. Like basically anyone who knows what Taken by the T-Rex is, that. 
Except taken by the T-Rex for a moment I totally thought was the Chuck Tingle book. But yeah, like, the books on Amazon where you have to wonder what the fuck because the premise is so stupid and things take turns really quickly as soon as the author decides it's time for a sex scene. It's a good thing I don't care about the YouTube money because I am not getting it. But I just don't know what to say, man. Yeah, okay, that's what I need to work on. That's better. So, I am going to do a deep dive into... He calls it the Tingleverse. I can appreciate a play on words, but it's still source of it. I'm going to do a deep dive into every single book that I just bought, including one that was... <laughs> what up, what was the name of that one? I'm gonna I'm look it up. Here we go. Pounded in the butt by my reluctance to buy a humble bundle featuring stories with gay characters as though that has some sort of bearing on my own sexuality or the quality of the product, then eventually realizing it's pretty good and I'm fine. Just... Why? Why? There's also one with the Pretendo Swap. Bigfoot Pirates. A heavy metal unicorn lawyer. Wait, am I just advertising this humble bundle at this point? I'm okay with it. You need to read this to believe it. Oh yeah, also, you know how I just read a couple of excerpts from Pounded in the Butt by My Own Butt? There's also Pounded in the Butt by My Book, Pounded in the Butt by My Own Butt. And then there's another one, Pounded in the Book by My Book, Pounded in the Butt by My Book, Pounded in the Butt by My Own Butt. So it's like, Inception levels. They also include a special episode of that podcast that I was listening to, where it's a special story written just for this humble bundle and what the hell i think its name was pounded in the butt by my podcast pounded night vale presents pounded in the butt by my own podcast uh i really hope to all hell that this is parody because if it is it's hilarious i'm gonna have to sort through 15 minutes of me just jaw agape in what the hellness. All right, well, I'm gonna do that deep dive and get back to you on that. I might do an update video on this later. Quick note, I think I figured out a new upload schedule. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a one episode buffer and then it's always gonna be exactly one episode unless it ends up being used. So how that's gonna work is right now, I recorded the intro video either yesterday or the day before, and then I set it to upload on Monday, which as of this recording is tomorrow. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set that video to public right now. And then if I don't record a video between now and next Sunday, I'm gonna upload this video next Sunday after I edit it. And then if I do record something between now and then, I'm gonna upload the video immediately after I finish the edit and then reset the clock. So let's say I get the next video recorded and edited on, let's say Wednesday, then I upload this video on that Wednesday. And then if I don't release another video or if I don't record another video, by the time the next Wednesday rolls around, I upload that video. That way I have a little bit of wiggle room and I can take a week off if I need to. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, quick update. I'm gonna add this to the end of that video I literally just recorded. Literally all I had to do to fix the focus and a couple of white balance issues was take it off auto. All right, that, that's literally it for me. Uh, see you around.